In the sum, length is 115, height is 45 and width is 50. Length is 115, if you see that is radius 25, then 45, then again 20 and again radius 25. In this sum, we will start with circle. So what we will do, first we will draw top view, then front view and then side view. So to top view, for top view, we need to draw this two radius which is 25, 25 plus diameter 28 and diameter 22. So see in top view, first you take 25 from here, you go down by 25, find the center and you can draw radius 25. From the same center you can draw radius 28. Then come this side, you take 25, go down by 25, again you draw circle. From the same center you can again draw radius 11, that is diameter 22. Now if you see top view, see in the main diagram, they are given this line as well as this slope. So first we will draw this line at a distance of 20 and this slope is 10. So we will take 5, 5 from the center and this length is 30. So we will take 20, draw down, complete this. Then from center you take 5 5 up and down in length 30. So we are done with top view. Now we will see front view. If you see the main diagram, when you see from the front, you will see this rectangle, again one more rectangle, and this triangle portion. So first we will project from front, sorry, top. We draw rectangle, another rectangle, triangle. Now, when you see from the front, if you see the main diagram, when you see from the front, this circle is going through and through. Same way, the other circle is also going through and through. So, what we need to do when we project from top view, these two extreme edges, those two extreme edges has to be through and through. So this will be dotted. Same way on this side also. We can draw center line as well. We can draw it in top view also. Now we will see side view. Now when you see the main sum, in side view you will see this lower portion is rectangle. This circle is going through and through. This rectangle, these two rectangle. And again this circle is going through and through. So first we will project lower rectangle and upper rectangle. Slope and if you see diameter 22, so we will have two dotted lines as well as diameter 28, so we will have two more dotted lines. The circles are going through and through. To draw sectional front view, when you see from the front, they have given cutting pin line AA, which is passing through and through. So what we will do, when you cut like this, this portion will go away.
it will appear like this. So this part will be hatched. This part will be hatched. This part will be hatched. This part won't be hatched. Why? Because the rib. So always remember whenever you cut rib along the length, we won't be hatching this portion. So over here there won't be any hatching. Over here there won't be any hatching. Why? Because there is a cavity. This part, this part, and this part will get hatched. This part also won't get hatched because we are not cutting anything over here. So we will locate and we will draw a cutting plane line in top view, which is AA. And in front view, this will become dark. These two dot lines will become dark. And we need to do hatching. In this area, this won't be hatched. This area, this won't be hatched. Why? Because the rib and we are cutting it along the length. And this area won't be hatched because there is no cutting. This part will be hatched. 